so the main intention for uh, preparing this video is uh, to give some awareness on uh, bch coding that is a uh, 15 unit syllabus uh, 15 unit uh, contents in the account of syllabus for uh, coding theory so in this uh, okay and we'll discuss about uh, bch coding and uh, uh, decoding for the bch codes okay and here we'll start with this this is a bch code bch code and we'll discuss about uh, uh, what are the different uh, uh, steps involved in the bch code and what are the similarities actually it is an extension to the hamming codes hamming codes and uh, bch codes mostly called as a generalized hamming codes and the only hamming codes or the linear block codes are available they still what the need of uh, bch codes so the main motivation for uh, bch codes is uh, it's a multiple error correction so while transmitting the information if there are multiple errors that we can correct that we can detect with the bch code that's the main uh, advantage is with the bch code and uh, similar to the hamming code uh, okay and even for the bch code there's a need to satisfy some parameters like uh, Okay, and even in the previous classes, we have discussed about uh, the parameters like, uh, so here the very important parameter for uh, the representation is, uh, there's a need to mention positive integer, positive integer, and uh, that value must be greater than or equal to 3. And number of errors that we are correcting, T, that must be T less than, 2 power m minus 1 that is in the power okay then bch code parameters are uh, represented by block length which we are all very familiar about this one and be clear bch code is a part of a block code only and that's why block code length n is equal to 2 power m minus 1 so it's a, there's a difference between these two, 2 power m minus 1 and t, there's a number of uh, errors that we can correct, t less than 2 power m minus 1, block length and uh, number of parity check bits, parity check digits, parity check digits or n minus k, that must be less than or equal to m into t, and similarly minimum distance, minimum distance. Okay, and that value must be d minimum, that should be greater than or equal to 2t plus 1. Now, what are the parameters involved in this and all these, that we'll discuss uh, with a little explanation. And if you are taking m is equal to 3, for example, m is equal to 3, n must be 7. n must be 7. Now, what are the possibilities, how many errors that we can correct with m is equal to 3? For example, if you are taking t is equal to 1, then n minus k that is the number of parity check bits that must be less than m into t okay and here uh, if uh, t is equal to 1 then n minus k that is nothing but q account of our notation that must be less than or equal to 3 into 1 okay and uh, obviously q value that must be less than or equal to 3 that we can for example if you are taking t is equal to 2 so that means n minus k that must be less than or equal to 3 into 2 so that means uh, uh, q value that must be less than or equal to 1 so here uh, it is uh, quite uh, difficult to take uh, the values q less than or equal to 1 and up to some extent t is equal to 2 is also possible but uh, for t is equal to 3 n minus k that must be less than or equal to 3 into 3 Okay, and uh, that means here uh, it is quite difficult to satisfy all these parameters. Okay, and here n minus k q value. Okay, and uh, that is not satisfying. That's why here uh, mostly we will prefer t is equal to 1 is a parameter. That means if m is equal to 3, it can support. It can support uh, only single error correction, not with the remaining 2. Similarly, for different values of m, like uh, m is equal to 4 m is equal to 4 okay and uh, there's a possibility to find uh, uh, t is equal to 1 t is equal to 2 t is equal to 3 okay and uh, in this case the message length n minus k that can be calculated 
okay and n minus k that value that must be always less than m into t n value is if m is equal to 4 n value is fixed at uh, 15 okay and even in the last case m is equal to 3 n is equal to 7 okay and always 7 is a, a n value is a 7 7 minus k that value is a less than uh, 7 always you have to set the value 7 minus k the values are a little bit uh, difficult to manage so that's why t is equal to 1 2 3 t is equal to 4 but for m is equal to 4 mostly t is equal to 1 t is equal to 2 t is equal to 3 or preferable because n minus k left side is fixed at 15 and we have to accommodate at least uh, some number of message bits that's why here uh, there is a need to refer the parameters like uh, k is equal to okay t is equal to 1 means uh, here uh, n minus k that must be less than or equal to 4 15 minus 4 that means k is equal to 4 at maximum we can support k is equal to k is equal to sorry k is equal to 11 and for t is equal to 2 n minus k that must be less than or equal to m into t and here n minus k that must be less than or equal to 8 and k value that is equal to 7 as the number of correction are increasing k value decreases and for t is equal to 3 n minus k less than or equal to m into t and n minus k less than or equal to 4 into 3 11 and k is equal to 5 ok and even if t is equal to 4 n minus k less than or equal to m into t or n minus k less than or equal to 16 and uh, k value ok and here 15 minus k value is greater than or equal to minus 1 and it is not all possible the same situation is because even for m is equal to 3 so that's why so here uh, for m is equal to 4 we can extend for the same thing like that okay we can extend for m is equal to 5 m is equal to 6 so here uh, based on the m value we can uh, decide how many errors that we can correct for m is equal to 3 we can correct up to 1 for m is equal to 2 or so m is equal to 4 we can correct up to 3 errors like that we can extend for the representation so like that okay for m is equal to 5 m is equal to 6 we can we can uh, uh, calculate how many errors that we can correct Okay, now coming to this, uh, BC co BCH codes are uh, generalization of the Hamming code. So, for example, if you want to make the input data into the code word, into the code word, for example, data may be D of X, that's a data. And to make uh, data into code word, it is a code word, that is a form for the transmission V of X. We are all very much familiar, V of X is equal to data multiplied by uh, generator matrix G of X which we are all familiar now we'll discuss about how can you get general uh, generator matrix or the generator polynomial generator matrix and what is the procedure for the representation of the generator matrix once we have got the idea about the generator matrix or the generator polynomial so obviously we can uh, easily calculate what is the code word for this okay and uh, similar to the patterns which we have discussed earlier okay and we can set uh, any value so for example if you are taking uh, a T error correction T error correction now which parameters we have to consider for the generator polynomial so here generator matrix for BCH code that can be or generator polynomial that can be calculated by the simple formula LCM of phi 1 of x phi 2 of x up to phi 2 t of x it is the LCM of phi 1 of x phi 2 of x phi 2 t T is equal to a T error correction. For example, my intention is to design the system for single error correction. Then phi 2 T of X. This is the LCM of phi 1 of X, phi 2 T of X. For example, for a 2 error correction, it is the phi 1 of X, phi 2 of X, phi 3 of X, phi 4 of X. Like that we can, we can extend the same representation. Now what this phi 1 of X, phi 2 of X, phi 2 T of X represent? Phi 1 of X is the minimum polynomial minimum polynomial so we are not uh, very much familiar about uh, the basic theory behind what is meant by polynomial or minimum polynomial and how can you get this minimum polynomial okay and actually bch code or coding that is based on galois field galois field with the base so galois field with the base 2 and its extension gf of 2 power m so now what the galois field and what the galois field extension so that we'll discuss okay and with that we'll get the idea okay and uh, uh, galois extension field 
and with that we'll get the idea what is uh, uh, minimum polynomial uh, and accordingly we can find general term polynomial.